Good morning, everybody. Uh, so hopefully this is just a short video. A question came up. How do you transfer procedural textures from Maya into other programs like Houdini where those nodes don't necessarily exist? So I've constructed a an eye uh, material and for the color and there's a slight bump on there as well. I've used a ramp with a, a noise. So the shading network looks like this. So this is all going into a redshift material. So again, I've got my ramp and this has, you know, the, the pupil, it has the outer, this kind of outer, uh, rim edge here. And in the blue color, it's actually this noise that I've, I've just colored uh, two shades of blue to get a slight kind of a darker blue and lighter blue for, for these eyes. But you know, this could be any any color you want and then it's just slightly stretched um, to, to give it those more kind of the rods and cones of the iris and you know it's just a very quick setting there could be f fewer repeats or less stretch uh, to get a bit more a bit more randomness in there or you could even kind of go between multiple noise values uh, you know the sky's the limit but the fact is, is that's a procedural network and how do we uh, convert that into something that can be read. So, you know, like a, typically it'd be like a, a JPEG or PNG or Targa, TIFF, uh, EXR, that type of file. So what I'm going to do is use this really old transfer um, uh, tool. So it's under the lighting and shading menu. I'm just going to tear this off. And it's this guy right here, the transfer maps. And we're specifically just looking at diffuse. And I'm gonna go with, with a JPEG. Um, there are different options. So, you know, the EXR and uh, PNG. I'm almost wondering if I'll get a, what the result would be like if I used a higher quality, like a 32-bit file compared to an 8-bit. Uh, but you know what, JPEG's fine. Uh, use my common settings. That just reflects this tab right here. Um, you don't have to use this. You could override it and just do a quick kind of test in through here. Uh, and when you're doing your initial testing, it's probably a good idea to, um, you know, just go with a lower setting at first, just so it can go through the uh, calculations quickly. And if it works, then, you know, then you're good to go. Uh, transfer in UV space. So basically it's going to be transferred to an object with the exact same UVs. Uh, so I'll just go uh, UV space um, and everything else is pretty good under the advanced options. Did I change anything? I, I don't believe I did. Um, it'll assemble a new material once it's done. So I think that's fine. All right. I think that's okay. So the only other thing we need to do is hook up what's getting transferred here. So we have a source mesh and we have the target mesh. Now right now we only have the one eyeball geometry and unfortunately the you can't transfer to the same same model or not that I'm aware of anyway. So what I'm going to do is and this still has the redshift material on it so you don't have to switch the shaders or anything which is cool. Um, so I'm going to select the original model as the eyeball geo and I select the new model or the duplicate same material on there at the moment, doesn't matter. I'm gonna select that as my target mesh. Um, just make sure if you do have multiple UV sets that they're actually selected. Yeah, there we go. And uh, yeah, and then you just uh, push bake. Just make sure you know where it's going. Uh, so the path is here. You can change it, the name to whatever you want. Uh, 1K is going to go by really quick. Uh, we should see it pop up as well in the hypershade. Here it is here. So you can, you'll notice that it's a bit dark. It's a bit dark. It's not going to be exactly like this. Um, and it has something to do with the color space. And I didn't see any color space settings there. So you just have to make sure you're switching this to raw. Uh, and that should give us an exactly the same look. So I've I've saved this image out down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out my ramp uh, with with the texture here. So let me try this out. 
So out color is going to go replace my bump, and it's going to replace my diffuse. And if I render it again, yeah, all right, it looks exactly the same. Now you're probably thinking, well, it, it changed a little bit. It did, uh, because don't forget, this is only a 1K um, texture. If I up the resolution, we'd probably maintain more of the details from the procedural map. But uh, for the most part, um, it worked, right? So if I were to, it's a little bit less detail, right, between the two. Well, it's a little bit less detail, and it looks a little bit different. Um, but I think it is mostly due to the fact that it's a resolution thing. I'm going to try it again but with a 4K. And unfortunately, I don't have a pause in this NVIDIA recording software. Or not. Maybe somebody could let me know how to do that. But <laughs> all right, so let me just switch this back. Um, so I'm just going to undo. There we go. And I'm going to do this again. So let me go 4K. There we go, 4096. UV space. Mm, maybe, I wonder if UV space is the problem because the objects are directly on top of it. You know what, I'm going to try this. Um, let's go object space here. And let's just see if it makes a difference. I'm going to give it a slightly different name, so two, and bake. You can see it's becoming much slower. I should have just kept it maybe at 1K, but if there is a resolution thing, then maybe that would... So also, you know, because it's a duplicate, these are exist at the exact same spot. So let's able to transfer, grab the information properly. All right, let's see what we get now. Okay, this is the original ramp. This is the new one, number two. Yep, there it is there. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just replace the these two guys. If I can do that. 3rd time's a charm. Oh, we got it. Just a bit of a delay. Uh, and just make sure that's set to raw. All right, and let's see what we get now. Okay. All right, that's... I think that's exactly, is it exact? Let's find out. So this is the original. No, you know what? It's exactly like the other bake I did. It's a little bit different. Yeah, we're losing a little bit of, of information there. But maybe partly why it's looking different is because we've got two eyeballs on top of one another. Let me just hide this one. I'm just wondering what was causing some some weird stuff going on, but I think it was just because of that. That's looking cleaner. Let's get rid of these guys. Yeah, unfortunately, it does look like it shifted some of the information just a little bit. Now, in the scheme of things, um, it still looks pretty good, and in fact, it, it probably looks even better than it did before, but but it's not exactly the same. All right, we're losing some of these finer finer details. Hmm. Well, that's a shame. Uh, let's see. Let's, I'm going to try one more time. See if we can get a slightly better result. So let me just um, rehook this up. And I'm going to try this one more time with the transfer. I'm going to go 
with a bigger format this time. Yeah, this one didn't really make a difference. Let me just go back to EVs. Filter, maybe reduce the filter down. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see what happens. It's odd that it's not fully capturing like everything. Uh, it must be something with how the procedural is. Could also be something with how it's connected to a Redshift material and not a Maya material, but uh, it could also just be that's just the way it is. Um, and there's no real way around it. I mean, if it's pretty close and you're happy with it, then you know it's it should be fine. All right, so let's see here. So we got the new one, this is the XR. So I'm just gonna do a replacement. So replace that, replace that, and let's try this again. Nope, it's exactly the same. Yeah, so it's not 100% perfect, but you know, it's for me it's perfect enough because I was just kind of randomly playing with the with this stuff, so I didn't really spend a lot of time, and it looks fairly close and I do like some of these guys a little bit better than where I was before but um, but it's not a hundred percent yeah I don't know if there's there's a better way to transfer at the moment but uh, maybe I'll look into that a bit further but for now you know this kind of works so um, good luck with that cheers